all the MES folks on here, anyone who's ever gone and evaluated an existing manufacturing execution system on a plant four, or maybe a paper version or some code somebody wrote in a PLC to calculate OE, more times than not, it's done wrong. All right, last thing I want to talk about is this OEE thing. So there was a post the other day. We, you know, we shot the, I shot the video, OEE is powerful and um, important. And, you know, why did I shoot that? And it was because this guy, Dave McGowan, on um, LinkedIn, he posted uh, um, an article about the top 15 smart factory KPIs. And the, and the number one, um, KPI was OEE. So there was a list of 15 KPIs that we you should be using to measuring to measure the success of your smart factory strategy. And and it OEE was number 1. And the reason I ended up seeing this was cuz Rick Bellotta had commented on it and he had said, "Well, that's, you know, anybody with a brain knows OEE is not the most important KPI to measure smart factory strategy, right?" So I went, I looked at it I'm like here, here are the 15 KPIs that this IOT analytics said are the 15 most important KPIs for measuring the success of your smart factory strategy. Okay. So increase in overall equipment effectiveness is number one, increase in labor efficiency, increase in output, decrease in costs, increase in quality increase in supply chain resiliency, increase in revenue, increase in on-time delivery, decrease in reported safety incidents, increase in operational resiliency, increase in customer satisfaction, decrease of waste, increase in ROE, ROCE, increase in market share, market penetration, and a decrease in inventory levels. Okay. And I remember looking at this and thinking, how the hell is OEE at the top of that list? I mean, most of these on here, I don't use, I, I wouldn't use as KPIs for, is our strategy working? Okay, and that's what he wrote in his post. But this is what I wrote about OEE. And I, I want to, I want to, I, I, in this other video, I drove home this point of why OEE matters. But I want, this is what I said about OEE, just this top part. I'm a huge fan of OEE as a concept and its use as a KPI for operational analysis when implemented correctly. Do I agree that it's the top metric for measuring the success of a smart factory strategy? Not a chance. It's not even in the top five. I, I'd argue it doesn't belong in the top 15 list because OEE doesn't tell you at all how effective your smart factory strategy is because OEE is an operational strategy, not a smart factory strategy, okay? But I wanna talk about the OEE piece. So many people are haters on OEE. And the reason why is because just like with digital transformation, just like with digital transformation, OEE is implemented incorrectly more times than not. And everyone watching this knows it to be true. All the MES folks on here, anyone who's ever gone and evaluated an existing manufacturing execution system on a plant four, or maybe a paper version or some code somebody wrote in a PLC to calculate OEE, more times than not, it's done wrong. Either capturing the events wrong, they're capturing too many of them manually, they're doing the calculation wrong. They're using the wrong rates. They're manipulating downtime, so both planned and unplanned downtime. They're they're giving people the power to emit to manipulate the output for their own self interest. OEE, like digital transformation, is implemented incorrectly more times than not. Digital transformation doesn't fail. Digital transformation initiatives do. OEE doesn't fail. OEE initiatives do. And our mindset has to change. The, the focus when it comes to digital transformation or deploying a digital MES has to start from what our strategy is. Okay? It has to be focused on the best ideas winning. The best ideas have to come from accurate data. Okay? Um, all right. I'm a little bit over. Sorry about that. Hopefully I, I touch on everything. There's a couple of things I want to, I'm going to um, be sending out to those who are in the MES bootcamp. You guys will see that stuff tomorrow. Um, 
uh, mentorship. I'll be sending out the announcement on Thursday, what our topic's going to be. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're in the United States, get out and vote. And I will see you in the next one.